So here, I'm looking at a cluster of crab eggs. Um, I was actually looking for a ter certain type of worm that parasitizes these eggs, but I was not able to find it. Um, but I did see these little guys crawling around on the eggs. These are little ciliates. Um, not exactly sure what type they are, but uh, just kind of interesting to me that uh, in this tiny little cluster of eggs, you know, we still have all these little ciliates crawling all over these eggs. They're all over the place. Um, now, you see crab. I see crabs all the time when I'm out scuba diving, and uh, when they're gravid, or meaning they have eggs, uh, the crabs usually hold them underneath a little bony, a little plate called a telson, um, and they look kind of feathery. Well, here, this is what the crab eggs look like underneath a microscope. Um, they're all tethered together uh, by these strands, which keeps them, I guess keeps them from floating away, keeps them under control, which I always used to wonder how they do that. Um, but here, looking underneath the microscope, you can kind of see how they're all tethered, tethered together. And, of course, we've got a close-up of the uh, bacilliates crawling around on the egg, um, which is always fun to watch, uh, how these microscopic organisms move around. And um, You know, you watch the kind of this kind of stuff, and you just like wonder, what are they doing? You know, are they... It's just such a strange world. It's one of the things I love about scuba diving, is you're going into this foreign world and you're seeing things that you're not used to seeing. Well, it's like that underneath the microscope as well. Um, just an amazing um, amazing world we live in.